I'd actually just been in Australia. On a, I kind of went travelling. I went to watch England win the Rugby World Cup, um, which is one of my big passions, uh, rugby anyway. And um, so I'd come back. So I was quite relaxed, I think, and um, uh, not to wound up as it's possible to become as an actor, you know, having lots of auditions and not getting them, or it can all be a bit confusing sometimes. But I, I was, yeah, I guess pretty relaxed, and I just swanned into this audition, having not really thought a huge amount about it, um, and I guess it was the right part at the right time. Well, it's always a bit cra crazy meeting people that you've watched on the telly, I find. Because I, I don't, I'd really sort of seen him in Men Behaving Badly. I'd grown up, you know, as a teenager watching that. And uh, so I was sort of expecting him to be like that, uh, which was my, you know, um, but, but he's not. And um, so I was sort of, yeah, wanting, you know, some Men Behaving Badly kind of banter. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's quite a, an adult, you know, got his own um, family and, and all of that. And he's obviously, yeah, not that character. Um, so there's a bit of an adjustment because you've got a relationship with someone through having watched them on TV and then you meet them and there's something quite different and anyway, so there's all of that, but it was fine. I was a bit of a dreamer, you know, um, a bit of a loner um, and sensitive. I don't think back on him as a character with loads of insecurities. Maybe that's because I've got plenty of my own, but I just saw him as quite a, hu you know, just quite a human being. I think he was quite uh, sort of vulnerable. There was a vulnerability about him that is maybe, you know, why some people have, be, you know, been sort of drawn to him. I remember the writer, uh, Dominic Mengele of the first two series, saying that because Doc Martin was very uh, cold, you know, it's quite a cold character, emotionally quite sort of cold and reserved and, you know, uh, that it worked quite well, um, the sort of double act with Doc, Ma uh, with um, Mark Milo because he was the sort of, he, he wore his emotions more on his sleeve and, and that therefore they kind of, you know, work quite well together. Well, I'm pleased that the dancing scene came off um, because I was pretty terrified about that um, and that that you know hasn't been at, you know kind of laughed off screen as it were um, and I don't know I think it was quite a sort of difficult emotional journey to go on with the character um, if I remember back you know pretty exhausting going through all the excitement of you know having met um, what's her name? <laughs> we met Julie Mitchell, and then for it all to come crashing, you know, crashing down. Wasn't there a whole pregnancy thing? She mm -hmm. was. She he thought she was pregnant, and all of that. Yeah, big emotions. Well, I've been really touched by, like I talked about earlier, that you know, emotionally connecting with an audience, and you know, I, I get emails still now, four years on from around the world, and. Um, so it's really exciting to have been involved in a show or playing a part in a show that seems to have yeah, touched people. It's a, yeah, it's a big TV show, you know. It's, um, it's a, a lot of very experienced actors. Um, Martin, obviously, but, you know, Stephanie Cole, Ian McNeese, um, you know, who've been plying their trade at the very top of the business for decades. And um, so it's sort of like, yeah, getting in the ring with a prize fighter, you know, working with those people. And, um, and that's, that's the challenge, I guess. I mean, yeah, we spent long, you know, afternoons sat in a police jeep, you know, in the middle of Dartmoor or whatever, um, in between shots and stuff. Um, I, I think, um, I think it's the same answer really as, as what I just gave, just that you really, you know, it's exciting as a young actor to work alongside someone with that experience and, um, and it sort of, yeah, makes you raise your game and um, you, you want to kind of, yeah, prove yourself and learn.
sounds really nice. Um, guys, um, did I did mine have a crush on her? Oh, I took it to the dance. Um, <laughs> she's no, she's a lot of fun. Um, they, 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 all the actors on the show, you know, really fun to to work with and and very cleverly, I guess, you know, put together. They're all very different and they, you know. It was really fun learning how all the different characters kind of interacted with each other. Um, but yeah, Caroline's again is a you know really successful TV actor. <laughs> I think it could only really have worked as a storyline if the Louisa character had you know some feelings for Milo. I, I think it would have been pretty painful watching him just relentlessly try and sort of woo someone who wasn't interested. Yeah. But then that's what Dot Martin did. And that's what she did. So maybe... No, but what I mean is, but then at some point it swung, like one of them was interested, one of them wasn't. So um, I think it would have cluttered the love story of Dot Martin and, and Louisa if Milo had been involved much longer. I'd played a Cornish policeman in a different TV show for two years before I did Dot Martin, right? So uh, a TV show with Do uh, with um, Dawn French called Wild West. I literally played a Cornish policeman in a comedy show, um, and then uh, I found myself playing a Cornish policeman. I didn't find myself. I auditioned for it. It seemed a great part, really interesting, you know, show, which it obviously has turned out to be. But as yeah, a fairly young actor in my twenties, I think I thought that playing a Cornish policeman more than four years in a row uh, was um, maybe creatively not um, uh, fulfilling um, and I wanted to play a yeah, different role. I guess I wanted to explore other roles. Um, I've got into writing, I've done you know more theatre, I've done a, a range of other things. Played some nasty characters, you know, this kind of thing. Um, without a Cornish accent, um, I so that's quite a big reason. Also, I I don't know. I kind of felt that there was this quite dramatic end. Uh, you know, I, I I obviously I well not obviously I get very involved in the characters I I, I play and you know kind of um, quite emotionally attached to them. And I, I and he in that second series he went through this whole uh, journey. Um, of this, this sort of roller, uh, emotional roller coaster, trying to marry the woman who turned out to be a con artist and all of that, and I and I just thought that in a way that was a really big natural full stop, and that I, I felt that probably after that he would have left, he would have left the village. I don't think he could have. I think it was my it was my I think that was kind of my take that you know he he, he would disappear. I think he's single. Okay. <laughs> I think he's still single, and I think that yeah, he's been off to explore the world a little bit. Um, but maybe he hasn't got further than the southwest. I don't know. Um, I kind of, you know, yeah. There's the possibility. You know, he he well, he you know he's got as far as Asia or somewhere very exotic. But maybe it's kind of, you know, in this world, maybe it, it's um, quite nice if he's just got to you know Plymouth which is the sort of nearest big city or something. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I think it would be a really interesting challenge to write, um, write a sort of comeback uh, or return sort of storyline. Um, and it could be, could, could, could be quite funny. Um, and maybe, yeah, quite moving, who knows. I've got a news page on that so it kind of updates with different work I'm doing and if this Swallows and Amazon show continues there'll be all the information of how to get tickets for it on that and um, any TV shows and stuff I do, you know, but when they're going out and things like that on there. 
So that might be a, a helpful thing to look at if anyone's interested. Well, just thank you for um, tracking me down and um, letting me know that you've enjoyed the character. And um, I'm really pleased that uh, people have enjoyed the show and um, enjoyed Mark Milo. Um, and yeah, um, keep watching, have fun. <laughs>